Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. In the heart of the Celestial Palace, Goku, still absorbing the magnitude of his new position as Supreme God, seeks guidance from the great Daishinkan, the chief angel and direct advisor to Zeno Sama. The room, adorned with celestial sculptures and pulsing with transcendental energy, is the setting for this crucial encounter. Goku approaches Daishinkan with humility, his eyes reflecting a mixture of determination and curiosity. Hey, Daishinkan, I really don't know where to start with all of this. What's the first step I should take as High God? Daishinkan, known for his unwavering serenity and wisdom, looks at Goku with a reassuring smile. Goku, your journey as Supreme God is unique, and although the responsibilities are vast, the essence of the role is to maintain balance and harmony between the 12 universes. He continues explaining the fundamental principles of Goku's role. His mission is to ensure that no universe falls into excessive disorder. This involves monitoring the activity of the gods of destruction, ensuring that mortals have the opportunity to grow and prosper, and intervening when cosmic threats endanger existence. Goku scratches his head, pondering Daishinkan's words. This seems very serious. How am I going to be able to do all this and keep training and fighting? Daishinkan, with a piercing gaze, responds, Goku, your strength and unique abilities are precisely what the cosmos needs. The compassion you demonstrate and the willingness to fight for the right causes are your greatest tools. Remember, you are not alone. The angels are here to guide and support, and you can count on Zeno-sama's wisdom when needed. With a mix of determination and acceptance, Goku thanks Daishinkan for his guidance. I understand, I'll do my best, but just out of curiosity, do you think I'm the right choice for this? Daishinkan, with a gaze that transcends time, responds, Zeno Sama chose you for a reason, Goku. The multiverse is constantly evolving, and perhaps your unique nature is exactly what we need right now. Trust in yourself, and that your journey as High God is as incredible as your legendary battles. With this blessing from the chief angel, Goku sets out to begin his journey as Supreme God, knowing that the path ahead will be challenging, but with the determination to make the multiverse a better place for all beings. As he walks away, the halls of the Celestial Palace echo with the promise of a new era, led by the unlikely hero who has become the guardian of all existence. As Goku prepares to assume his role as Supreme God, he is summoned once again into the presence of Zeno-sama, the all-powerful ruler of the Twelve Universes. The Celestial Palace resonates with an imposing aura as Goku kneels before the Omni King. Zeno-sama, with his characteristically carefree expression, looks at Goku seriously. Goku, as the Supreme God, you must understand that sometimes, to maintain balance, it is necessary to erase universes. Goku, surprised, looks up at Zeno-sama. Erase universes. But I have always fought to protect life, not destroy it. Why would I do something like that? Zeno-sama calmly explains. Balance is fundamental, Goku. If a universe falls into uncontrollable disorder, threatening the existence of others, the option to erase it is an extreme but necessary measure. It is the only way to preserve harmony of the multiverse. Goku, still processing the idea, asks, But what about the lives in these universes? Don't they have a chance to change and improve? Zeno-sama responds with wisdom that transcends Goku's understanding. Sometimes Goku change and improvement require painful sacrifices. As Supreme God, you will need to make difficult decisions to ensure the well-being of all beings in all places. This may involve choices that go beyond the understanding of mortals. Goku, still reluctant, asks, but do I really have to do this? Is there no other way? Zeno-sama, with an aura of unquestionable authority, responds, You were chosen because, at your core, you have the ability to understand necessary balance. The decisions you will make will shape the destiny of the multiverse. This is a burden that comes with position of supreme god. Accepting responsibility, Goku stands up. I understand. I will do whatever it takes to maintain balance but I will find ways to preserve life whenever possible. Zeno-sama, with a nod of approval, says, 
That is the spirit, Goku. The multiverse is now in your hands. Use its power with wisdom and compassion. As Goku leaves the Heavenly Palace once again, he carries not only the honor of being Supreme God, but also the burden of making decisions that will affect the existence of countless lives. Your journey as the guardian of all universes has just begun and the path ahead will be marked by unimaginable challenges and choices that will test not only your strength but also your compassion in the face of the intricate webs of the multiverse. Back on the planet of Birus, the seventh universe's god of destruction, Goku meets Whis, his mentor and guide, in the vast lush gardens surrounding the celestial palace. The tranquil aura of the place offers a stark contrast to the restlessness Goku feels in his heart. Whis, noticing Goku's uneasiness, greets him with an affable smile. Goku, how was your conversation with Zenosama? It seems like you have something on your mind. Goku, frowning, begins to vent his worries to Whis. Well, Whis, Zeno-sama told me that as the Supreme God, I need to learn how to erase universes if things get out of control. That's heavy, man. I just wanted to fight and protect, not make decisions that affect so many lives. Whis, with his discerning gaze, understands Goku's anguish. It's an extraordinary responsibility, Goku. But believe me, Zeno-sama saw something in you that makes you fit for this task. The balance of the multiverse lies in the hands of someone who has always sought to overcome their own limits. Goku, rubbing the back of his neck nervously, confesses, I don't know if I'm the right person for this, Whis. Erasing universes seems so extreme. I just wanted to help people, not be responsible for deciding the fate of so many. Whis places a hand on Goku's shoulder with compassion. I understand your doubts, Goku. But remember, being Supreme God involves more than just making difficult decisions. As you seek balance, you can also positively influence, guide, and inspire the beings of the universes you govern. Goku ponders Whis's words and then looks towards the horizon. Do you think I have what it takes for this, Whis? I just want to do right. Whis confidently responds, Goku, you have a unique ability to bring people together, inspire them to excel and believe in a better future. Maybe that's what Zeno-sama saw in you. Now, more than ever, the multiverse needs a leader who understands the value of life and hope. Determined, Goku looks up at the starry sky. Okay, Whis. I'll do my best, even if I'm still not sure if I'm the right guy for this. Whis smiles, sharing words of encouragement. The journey will be challenging, Goku, but you are not alone. Count on me and the other angels to guide you. The future of the multiverse is in your hands, and I am sure you will find his own path, guided by the instinct to protect and help. As Goku prepares to face the complexities of his new role as Supreme God, he carries with him not only uncertainty, but also the determination to make a difference in a role that transcends combat and demands a deeper understanding of the fabric of the cosmos. The universe watches as Goku, the unlikely hero, embarks on a cosmic journey filled with challenges and crucial decisions that will shape the destiny of all beings. To be continued, hey my partner, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all this? Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos, and that's more or less what we'll see in the next video. Goodbye.